So last three months are now left for GATE and in this video, I am going to share three highly useful tips for last three months. So in last two, three months, of course, you are going to solve many questions, right? And of course, you will be making mistakes also in those questions. But you know, solving questions or making mistakes is useless if you are not learning from those mistakes, if you are not improving upon those mistakes. As this famous quote says that don't be afraid of making mistakes, you learn from them. However, make it a habit never to repeat the same mistake twice. And you know what is the best way to avoid repeating your mistake? It is to write it down and revise it. Write it down somewhere in your notes, in the same notes that you revise or make a separate numerical notes as I have already talked about in other videos. So you write them down, you capture just your mistake, what type of mistake you are making and what mistake, exact mistake you are making, right? If required, you may write a couple of calculation steps also. Don't write the entire question, right? If you are finding good questions, you bookmark them. There's a difference. I'm not asking you to collect good questions, right? For that, you can use bookmark. If you find a very good question, ki, yaar, masa aage, question ko solve karke. Gate se pehle, ek bar dekh ke jaunga, January mein, I'll just go through this question once. Then you bookmark it. I'm not talking about collecting and writing entire question. Just what you are, what mistake you are making. That mistake you have to write in your notes. Why? Because it becomes easy to revise. You don't have to revise it daily. In your regular revision, you don't have to do this. But at least once a week, once in 10 days, you revise it. It will ensure that you have created a collection of those possible mistakes that you have done and you may repeat. You don't have to repeat it by revising it, by going through it again and again. Trust me, when you will be in January and you will go through these mistakes and you will remember that, Hi, this I don't have to do, this I don't have to do. It will give you great confidence that I have collected all the mistakes that I am making. I know these are my weak points where I may do mistake. I have written them down. I have revised them and I know that these mistakes I am not going to do again because everything is now here. Getting the point. So that becomes much more valuable in the final month. But that process starts now. That process starts now three months before the exam when you will start solving many, many questions. Now, when it comes to revision, many students stay confused because there is a lot of misguidance related to revision. Many students do not properly do a cyclic revision as I have told. Many students do not actually know that as per science, as per research, as per biology, the best revision, best revision means which you can retain for longer and you can recall easily. That type of best revision is decided by the frequency of revision. But many students don't know that, right? Especially many YouTube channels or many other institutes, they conduct such mega revision, maha revision, such type of YouTube live and YouTube videos, which tricks you into believing that revision is like a big event that will happen and it will change my life. That's not how revisions work. As per science, revision is all about spaced repetition, is all about doing it again and again and again, is about frequency. That's what will ensure that you are retaining everything here and you are able to recall it and nothing else. So revise frequently, revise daily. If sitting in one stretch feels boring to you, break it into two, three different uh, parts. Maybe one in the morning, one in the evening, one in the afternoon, 30, 45 minutes each. But in total, give at least one and a half to two hours daily for revision. If you follow this before gate, easily you will be able to revise entire syllabus five to 10 times. And that will be very effective for recalling the concepts, recalling the formulae in the exam hall. Now, regarding this point, I have already discussed enough and I'm sure you know this point as well. When you attempt a test, you are not able to solve some easy questions also. You commit mistakes in some easy questions also, which as soon as the test is over, you go through it and you feel that this I knew, that silly mistake I did, that calculation mistake I did, right? I am sure everyone have faced this. 
why this happens i have already talked about it so i am not going to spend much time talking about this but you know that timer has a effect on your accuracy on your performance and how do you get over that pressure by practicing more and more questions by solving more and more questions with a timer but what do you actually do you attempt to test you get less marks you get the fear settle in and once the fear settles in you avoid tests you don't want to face the reality are you face the reality timer can affect your performance but more and more you practice easier it will become it's a process you have to go through this process if in the initial test only initial steps only you will start fearing then you are never going to improve so do not delay writing test because that comfort that you develop na ki timer is going on and still you are solving that comfort cannot be uh, developed overnight in one week or two weeks you have to give two three months for that fear to go out for that confidence to build but if you will keep postponing test series keep postponing the timer based format then you are doing your own harm i have talked about this in a separate video in detail so make sure that you watch that video i am sure the three points that i shared with you you will apply those effectively from today in your preparation without delaying on any of those and for those of you who think ki time is very less last 3 months how will i be able to manage question revision improving my numerical skills as well as some pending syllabus is left so how will i cover it i have given you a detailed plan for that in this video it will be coming somewhere on the screen so make sure to watch this video so that you know how you can manage the next 2 3 months for your best i wish you all the best